to go through, but we welcome you here. You're recognized now for five minutes. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, uh, committee members. My name is uh, Supervisor Mick Leeson, Kern County Supervisor Mick Leeson from Kern County, California. Kern County is the home to Naval Air Weapon Station China Lake in the 1st District, which I represent. I'm also a retired commander of NAS China Lake, so I bring a perspective to this issue that few have. Probably nobody has. As someone who has worked very hard to carry out the critical national defense missions of the base, I want very much to see those missions continue and to help protect our national security. HR 458 is vital to the mission of NAS China Lake because it would permanently withdraw public land that is currently used by China Lake but administered by the BLM for the Navy by September 30th, 2015. The area to be withdrawn contains the Cuddyback Range and BLM lands in the southwest corner of China Lake's north south range. NOS, NOS China Lake and this test range has made appear to be vast, but the number of missions carried out at the base are crowding that airspace. Many current and future mission requirements can be met only if the land underlying the route uh, restricted Area 2505 and Restricted Area 2524 airspace, known as the Cuddyback Range, is withdrawn for military use. As a former commander of the base, I can tell you that acquiring the Cuddyback Range has been a high priority of China Lake for a number of years. The Naval Weapons Station China Lake has had a rapid, rapid response role going back all 68 year, years of its existence, supporting this traditional role while meeting emergency, emerging mission requirements and maintaining safety and security requires not only space to conduct these new missions, but offer additional buffer zones to protect against impacts to base neighbors and to protect the highly secure nat nature of this work. Being a member of the Navy for 27 years, I can say that it's my proudest achievement having served with, the, uh, with, with my fellow uh, men and women of the armed services, and it's, uh, it's been a joy of my life. But I can assure you, understanding the Navy as a retired Navy captain, you ask one component of the Navy one question, they're going to say the sky is blue. You ask another component of the Navy the same question, they're going to say green. So how about we ask the warfighter? And what is at stake here today is not just a transfer of land, whether it's BLM or Navy, it's what is the, our best way to serve our warfighter. That person in the foxhole over in Iraq or Afghanistan who needs immediate warfighting effect to happen now, what can we as this committee do to support that person, that warfighter? As a combat pilot in Desert Storm, I can speak to that warfighter. I understand his needs. I understand what is going on in his mind. I understand the mission at China Lake, and I understand that the best way to support that warfighter today is not to just debate whether or not it should be BLM land or Navy land, but it's to provide an increased capability of service to that person in the field. China Lake has not expanded its fence line in 50 years. The technology that we employ today wasn't even imagined 50 years ago. The miniature mun munitions, the rapid response, the integrated warfighting capabilities, the UAVs are all critical components of a, work of, a, of a force structure today that didn't exist when these perimeters were established in 1943. We need this cuttyback range to be withdrawn. We need this land to be withdrawn for many reasons. One of them is safety of the pilots. We need to manage the fence lines and the airspace as an integral unit so that pilots and airframes and, and personnel uh, training can understand their roles and responsibilities and their boundaries and keep other persons out. It's vital to the warfare, warfighter that we do this. It's also vital to the, to the citizens in Ridgecrest because if we were able to, to pull this property away from uh, or, or, or transfer this property to the Navy control, we now have the capability to, to expand our workload at China Lake, which would mean we can bring the UAVs, we can operate them down 20 miles away from the northern ranges, we would expand our workload and we would be able to bring more work, more throughput and more efficiencies and more technology to that water fighter, creating more jobs and improving the quality of life of people in Ridgecrest. Let me close up by saying that it's also important to the environmentalists that this be done. As a commanding officer of China Lake, I saw with my own eyes how great a job we did in, in, in managing 50,000 acres of land, national landmark of historic rock art, the worst, most beautiful, I'm not a rock art guy, but this was pristine and gorgeous because the Navy protected it. It was in the fence line, it had limited access, so the, the, those conditions of that rock art are maintained. The same environmental controls, the teams of biologists, archaeologists, 
uh, and, and other environmentalists who work for the base then would work now managing the resources on this property. So whether it's the Endangered Species Act, State Health Pres uh, Prote Preservation Act, NEPA, CEQA, any regulations that we manage today on 95 percent of our property, which is undisturbed right now, we would take that same philosophy and that same attitude and that same work ethic to manage these resources. It's in the best interest of the warfighter, and that's what we need to be focused on. Thank you, sir.